Welcome to this Windows N computer channel and um, I'll have a few videos explaining some of the um, reasons why an update can go wrong and most of the time, well like the majority of the time, Windows has nothing to do with it. We often talk about how Windows updates that fail are 95% if not even more due to other factors than Windows itself having a problem. But of course, people are in the impression that it's Windows because that's what they see and that's what they know. But they have no idea that there's so much else around it that can be the problem rather than Windows itself. The first one is when you update to a new version of Windows, um, especially when it's a very, very new version of Windows 10. One of the major problems we've seen over the last five years every time there was an update a lot of problems arose from third-party antiviruses. Um, you know, I always say that security is you, not the antivirus. And I always say that the uh, Windows security app is sufficient and good enough. We don't need anything else. You don't need extra protection because people are falsely think that the antivirus is protecting them when in reality it's what you do that protects yourself. So a lot of people have third-party antiviruses and uh, like Norton or McAfee or you know Avast or um, you know ESET and, and whatever uh, Kaspersky when in reality those are absolutely unnecessary uh, because the protection is already good enough in Windows. Well, often the third-party antivirus is a factor of a problematic upgrade. It is a factor in you not seeing the update. Often people say, well, you know, my computer is new and I don't see the update. Well, you could be using an, a third-party antivirus. It's often a blocker for these updates. And if you see the update, it could be one of the reasons the update doesn't go well after you upgrade. It could be that the antivirus itself has an issue with the latest version. That's up to the antivirus manufacturer to actually make a update to their antivirus. And it happens very, very often, even in the May 2020 update and the known issues list. One of them was the fact that there was a blocker because of some antiviruses. It's almost at every version. There are changes that happen to Windows that will make the antivirus uh, need to have some changes or updates or upgrades in order to continue working well with Windows 10. Unfortunately, like a lot of companies, antivirus makers are often a little slow in updating and having the latest version so that everything works smoothly. And well, that means that for some people, some of the bad updates or bad upgrades that happen are due to the fact that the antivirus was not up to date. So if you do use a third party antivirus, you could either wait a little longer for an, a, a, to update for a, you know, one of the last versions of Windows, or you can just remove the antivirus and upgrade without it. And then if you want to reinstall it, you reinstall it to see if it works well. But if after reinstalling, you know, it doesn't go well, you know, the antivirus is to blame most of the time. So that's one of the reasons why things can go wrong when you update third party antiviruses that honestly are unnecessary in Windows. Windows, the security app is good enough. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.